I published a circuit of a very easy to make uh, LED flasher. Approximately a few days ago and here it is again. I only want to say pen over uh, over this circuit 11 July uh, 2022 uh, two transistors and uh, much more was in that earlier video and I will give the link and I got a comment from one of my YouTube followers that it did not work with a white LED and that's completely true because um, this circuit can only work with uh, red LEDs, green LEDs, perhaps also orange and yellow LEDs and the reason is that the barrier voltage of a red LED is in, in a certain way quite low. So you can supply a red LED or a green LED or an orange LED with two carbon zinc batteries and that makes that such a LED lights up. But a white LED, for instance here, this is a white LED, needs a much, much higher supply voltage in the order of say 4 volts perhaps 5 volts uh, that depends of course anyway so I made a new circuit that is perhaps interesting to show regarding the comment that I had from uh, Sujiva Nishanta I hope that I pronounced that right uh, Su Jiva Nishanto, and you, you can um, read that comment in the text box of the earlier video. Anyway, so I tried to make a circuit, in fact, the same circuit, um, but now to be that it had to drive a white, white color, of course, white is not a color, but anyway, a white LED. And this is the how it is at the moment. I will switch off all the lights and you can surely see that it flashes in a very good way in my opinion. And of course such a white LED needs a much higher supply voltage. And especially when you have here say a transistor circuit that also uh, is responsible for a certain voltage drop. So uh, that has given this circuit and now it is made to drive uh, a white LED. You can use one white LED or three in a row uh, you can parallel white LEDs or you can parallel any LEDs, but you have to be sure that their properties are completely identical. That's always important and I've uh, talked much more in the past about the problems that that can give when, the, uh, when you switch LEDs light emitting diodes in parallel and they are not completely identical. One of the three starts to take the big current, the other one say uh, take a diminished current, they don't light up so fierce as the one that takes the right current etc etc. Uh, anyway, don't want to go too deep in that issue. It's explained everywhere, not only on my YouTube channel, but also on the World Wide Web. The transistors, the two transistors, have to have an amplification factor in the order of 250 up to 300. And furthermore, the, this circuit is exactly the same compared 
to the first circuit where here a green, uh, sorry, a red LED was used. Only problem is, or problem, not a problem, but uh, that we need now a voltage that's substantially higher. It's between 10 volts and 17 volts. And I think it's interesting to show the effect of the voltage. Now we are on 10 volts, 10.1 volts. And now I'm gonna show, we'll switch off the lights a little bit off. Well, that's too much anyway. Uh, 10 volts. Let's see what happens to this circuit. 10 volts, 11.1 volts. Twelve volts approximately. And you can see that the flash ratio changes. That's important because with a higher voltage, um, the capacitor needs more time to get charged. Anyway, that's only a simple explanation. But anyway, let's go to thirteen volts. And now we are on 17 volts. I will switch off the lights completely. 17 volts approximately. I go back now to approximately 10 volts. And of course we have to take in account that my camera here perhaps doesn't uh, take up all the flashes uh, completely because there's also a kind of um, not a flash ratio but a kind of ratio where the camera picks up the uh, the video signal anyway now I'm on 12 volt so uh, the, I think it's clear that this circuit works properly and you can use it and you can use it between 10 volts and approximately 17 volts. So I think it's a good flash circuit to be used on a car battery or a 12 volt battery. And that's also the reason why I've mounted here a fuse. Say 300 milliampere, that's far too high. But anyway, when there is a shortcut and you have here a car accumulator uh, the current can go so high that such a fuse surely blows out when you have a shortcut in the circuit. Thanks for watching. Amplification factor of the transistors is important. And uh, that's perhaps also interesting to show. Uh, now I have here a capacitor of one microfarad, but I, I can also uh, put in a capacitor. By the way, this is when there is no capacitor in the oscillator circuit. Uh, and now I can also switch in the capacitor of 10 microfarad. That's here, here, 10 microfarad. That means that we, that we have a very slow flash ratio. And that can surely be seen here. Very slow flash ratio, say approximately one second or half a second. And that also means that you can experiment with the value of the time dependent capacitor and the time and you can also see that a kind of say faint current is flowing through the LEDs and on a certain moment there is a flash anyway has everything to do with the simplicity of the circuit uh, so when you change that capacitor CX it's 
responsible for the flash frequency. And here I have told in a simple way uh, 1 microfarad is quick, 10 microfarad is slow. Of course there are values in between, for instance 4.7 microfarad, uh, etc. Do some experiments. The whole circuit is very, very simple and is in a certain way successful. Thanks for watching. Always beautiful to see these flashing LEDs.